Welcome to a FS17 mod review on the Score Farms map. We'll be taking a look at a variety of new mods, including a few Polaris's, a Ram, a few Pierce engines, Peterbilt, and a flatbed semi. All of the mod links can be found down below in the description of today's review. Up first, we'll be taking a look here at the Polaris Ranger 9000. There's many different viable options, including this fire skin, fire bed, rescue bed, or you could get the option here for the solid roof, doors, nets, or even the emergency lights, which is awesome. It is color changeable along with a few different things as well as a chainsaw. I really do like all of the things about this one. You guys can see pretty nice detail. It does have a hitch here in the back which is also a great feature. Nice suspension work and this one here has a netting and you guys can see over here has a solid roof, the doors, and the fire rescue skin. Take a look at that. A Rock City Fire Department. These both look pretty cool. Once we hop here on the inside, this has a top speed of 63 miles per hour. Now some of the lights do work here on it which is nice. The headlights do work and it does have a very nice first person view. Take a look at this working steering wheel and it does accelerate pretty fast which is also nice. The player sits in here very well and I'm very excited to have one of these here in FS17. It's going to be pretty cool. There are a few straps as well here in the bed which is also very nice. And like I've touched upon there's a fire bed and also a rescue bed that has like a stretcher. You could get the option here for the chainsaw which I do have and that's one awesome. Pretty detailed as well. Now here's a fire one. You guys can see it does have a water pump hose and a pretty big uh, tank here which is awesome pretty realistic and we do have the uh, light bar up top so once we hop here on the inside we'll activate these lights really quick and take a look at that guys uh, very nice lights all the way around this thing is pretty cool uh, lights up top very nice LED lights as well now this does have the uh, nice doors as well and the solid roof and that does look awesome now all of the lights you work here we'll take this for a quick spin around the block and we'll see how this handles now hope all of you guys are enjoying these models reviews. Now these actually have turned into the main video of the day. I think mod reviews are pretty important uh, showcasing the new mods so I will be probably increasing the amount of mods I showcase in reviews to be much longer and I think that that will be a very nice thing. Now the handling of this is very nice as well. Great acceleration and it is awesome. I'm very excited though to have this here in the game. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at a Ram regular cab brush truck. This is pretty cool, and as you guys can see, this thing does look pretty cool. There's a few different skins as well. This is a brush one. You guys can see an awesome looking bumper up front here. Nice chrome, and then you have this fire rescue bumper with that hose. That does look pretty cool. Very nice blacked out wheels. Those do look awesome. You guys can see the Ram Rock City, and then take a look at this bed, guys. It's a pretty short wheelbase, I will have to say, but that's okay. And you guys can see you could get the hose here in the back very uh, detailed I will have to say let's kind of hop up here and you guys can see it does have a uh, LED light bar very nice textures which is awesome so once we hop here on the inside it does have a very long startup which is always nice now it does have all of the working lights as well well, we just pulled forward here to take a look at all of them. So B and N M will turn on all of the strobe lights. Take a look at that. That is awesome. And then H will do a few different things. So you could actually uh, turn on that there. So that's pretty cool having water come through there. Now that is a nice feature. Haven't seen that before. And I just can't wait to do more. And then let's kind of take a look. We might be able to maneuver it around. So take a look at that, guys. You could actually lift this hose up and you could have it spray water. Now that. That is pretty awesome. Let's see, you could bring it side to side and up if you really wanted to. That is an amazing feature right over there. Up next, we'll take a look at the sirens. And the horn. On the interior, we have a very nice first person. You take a look at this, pretty detailed, and that is awesome here. Now, we'll take this here for a quick spin with the lights on. Let's see how this handles. Now, very nice acceleration as well. Big shout out goes out to RNR Apparatus for releasing this, the players, in the, and the engine. Now, this thing really gets up and goes, which is nice, and I really do like those uh, hoses on the front end. I mean, that's a great feature as well. And I will be uh, increasing the realism here of my reviews and increasing 
increasing the things we will be doing. We'll be testing the suspension and some other things like that and possibly testing how much they tell. Let me know any ways we could help improve these reviews, especially with FS19 coming. I do want to kind of change it up and help improve my reviews. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at a few Pierce engines. These look pretty cool. Now, there are some differences. This has a very nice painted bumper and a little bit different up top is a nice LED and take a look at that pretty big exhaust I will have to say awesome detailed quality though take a look that looks amazing and then you guys can see hitch here in the back this one doesn't and there is some differences you guys can see about the beds as well so we'll pull this forward and let's kind of take a quick look here at it and it does have all of the different lights everything like that but I first want to just check out the basic lights so all of the basic lights do work here which is nice reverse lights everything like that all of those do work so up next we'll activate all of these now you guys can see when you press N all of them do turn on, which is nice, and then H, J, K, and M uh, will turn on those nice uh, spotlights, in my opinion, those are pretty cool, and we'll check out the sirens, and that was the pump, and the horn, and on the interior rear view, we have a very nice working steering wheel here, pretty detailed as well, take a look at that, I just really do like having fire trucks here in the game, I can't wait to do videos here with these trucks, and this is a very nice, uh, very... Uh, great handling suspension as well. Now it looks like mods uh, have uh, kind of started to pick up on release wise, which is awesome. I will be releasing a few as well, and that will be pretty cool. Now you guys can see there's a few differences between both of these as well. We'll just take a quick look here at that, and then over here, you guys can see it's a little bit longer up top there, and this is a completely different uh, type of engine, but that's okay. Very detailed though. I really do like this a lot. Once we hop here on the inside, now the light bar is a bit different but that's okay and that looks awesome up there and everything is pretty much the same it does have a very nice acceleration and we'll check out the interior as well so very nice working steering wheel everything does work here and let's just take a turn pretty fast a very nice shop overall which is pretty cool up next we'll be taking a look here at a Peterbilt 379 now there's many different versions about this when you do buy it in the store you could get the option for a sleeper or the day cab here it does have bags which is pretty cool and take a look there's so many different things including color change well I do have it here in this very nice blue and just take a look at this there's a few different fenders as well this thing is pretty cool with underglow as an option once we hop here on the inside top speed of 80 miles per hour all the lights to work here on it everything like that you do have an engine brake that you could turn on and off just take off that it does sit pretty low but you can make it lower with V so bags uh, will lower this down pretty much sitting on the ground there that's pretty cool and this thing does look pretty cool on the first person view you guys can see it does have working mirrors pretty detailed I mean this thing is awesome on the interior and while we are in this, we'll hop out and take a look here at this uh, flatbed trailer that comes along with it. Very nicely done, and it does have a very nice deck as well. It looks like it does have straps that do not show, but this thing is awesome. Very nicely done, and it uh, has some great textures here on it. Now, like I've touched upon, all of these links will be down below in it, the description of today's review. Let me know how do you guys uh, think about having mod reviews as a main video. I might bring it back to a second. Let me know your feedback though. And uh, it does have a lock load as well, which is a big bonus and a few other things like that. But overall, one pretty cool uh, mods that we've looked at today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.